What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and it is cold today. It was 20 degrees when I woke up this morning and guess what I'm doing today? You guessed it. I'm headed out, I'm going diving and a lot of guys have been asking, why do you dive when it's cold outside? We don't see the enjoyment out of it and you know, why do you do it? Well, let's shut up the truck, let's go inside where it's a little warm and we can actually talk and today what we're going to do, actually do is talk about cold water diving and even more importantly ice diving because that's the type of the year we're in right now and why it is so enjoyable for us and I'm going to kind of bust some of the myths about cold water diving that a lot of people misunderstand when we say we're going cold water diving. All right, guys, let's address the elephant in the room. And everybody asks, well, is cold water diving or ice diving, is it not cold? Um, and it's a two-part answer there. Yes, it's cold, hence why we call it cold water diving. Uh, but it's not as cold as what you think. The water itself will always be warmer than the air itself. So, like, when we go up north and we go ice diving, we're in the negative degrees. You know, I've seen it as cold as negative 20 before. Uh, but the water is 34 degrees and the water has to be above freezing which anything above freezing is going to be a lot warmer than freezing of course because if it was below freezing the entire lake or the water the body of water that we're in would be frozen solid so when we ice dive only the top of it is solid that canopy actually creates an insulated barrier for the water underneath to be warm. So when you're in extreme temperatures, those negative degree temperatures on the surface, and you get in 34 degree water, it's a little on the cool side, but it's actually, it feels warmer than what it actually is. Now you gotta remember, we're properly dressed for this. We have the uh, right exposure suits on or the exposure protection. Most of us are in dry suits, but you can do this in a proper fitting, thick enough wetsuit as well. So, you know, busting the myth that cold water diving or ice diving is too cold, it's really not. It's a matter of perception. It's a matter of what makes you feel comfortable, but a proper fitting suit makes all the difference in the world. And like I said, the water's always going to be a lot warmer than what the surrounding air temperature is. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is skill sets. What skill sets do you need or what certifications do you need to be able to do certain types of cold water diving, especially ice diving? And really the skill sets are identical to what you learn in the open water course. There are things that we go over as far as line signals and entry and exit methods and things like that that do differ from basic, say recreational, fun, tropical warm diving. However, but the skill sets are the same. We still require our students to do mask removal and replace just like you would uh, in your open water class or maybe a rescue class or something like that. Uh, and the skills, yeah, they're going to be a little bit more difficult because you're going to have added equipment. You're going to be wearing a hood where typically in the tropics you wouldn't be doing that. You're going to be wearing thick gloves, whether you're wearing dry gloves or say uh, mitts, three finger mitts. Uh, and it does cause some difficulties. However, it increases your skill level. It is going to make you a lot more comfortable diver. It's going to make you a little bit uh, more educated as a diver as well. And all around, that's just going to definitely help you as you grow throughout your diving career. All right, so now let's talk about prepping your dive site. Uh, whether you're diving actually under the ice or you're just in a cold water environment, there's a lot of different prep things that you need to do as far as how you gear up, when you gear up, uh, heated sheds. We use that a lot anytime that we are uh, actually doing ice diving. We'll set up a tent area uh, that we can put heaters in so it makes it a comfortable environment for us to change in. Like I said, the, the above environment or the surface environment is always going to be a lot harsher than the um, under the water environment, if you will, just simply because of the temperatures, uh, the, the negative degree temperature. So we always set up heated sheds and like that. And one thing that I really like is simply the camaraderie that comes with cold water divers and ice divers. We all come together for, uh, we're a team, if you will. We, we don't necessarily worry about who's got the best BC or the best reg set or anything like that, but we all come together, we work together as a team so that we can go underwater, we can push this passion or the drive that we have for diving, and, and we can just have a fun, enjoyable time. We get to see stuff that hardly anybody else gets to see. Uh, we're increasing our skill sets, our, our abilities while diving, but that camaraderie really helps. Whether we're helping each other get in and out of the water, we're helping each other get suited up, um, or we're just there for support, uh, that's another great thing that I really love about cold water diving and ice diving. Next thing I wanna talk about, of course, is equipment as well. 
Um, anytime that you're diving in temperatures, let's say colder than 50 degrees, you want to make sure you do have the proper equipment. Uh, gear configuration in itself is not that big of an issue. However, having the proper gear for cold water environments is. Your regulators do need to be cold water reg systems. They do need to be environmentally sealed, have some type of cold water kit on it to prevent freeze ups. Because what will happen is, is if you uh, are not using the proper reg system, they can freeze up and cause catastrophic failures. Um, unfortunately, due to the way physics work, if you will, it doesn't take much to get a regulator to freeze, especially a second stage while on land. There's a lot of times that we will have divers who do not have a cold water system or a cold water reg system and they do have trouble and what we have to do is actually thaw out their regulators on land before we can get them in the water so make sure that you do have the proper type of equipment we don't care so much about the configuration of that equipment because each diver is going to be configured a little bit different and he's going to have what works for him but it is important that you do have the proper equipment for cold water diving operations so as we kind of finish up this video, I want to talk about why I personally cold water dive and why I really enjoy ice diving in itself. Uh, first of all, it's not something that I get to do all the time. I am a professional diver and I truly dive seven days a week. However, when it comes to ice diving, it is rare. I get to go at least once a year on a week-long ice diving trip, but that's one out of 52 weeks a year. It's not something I it's not something I do weekly, you know, every day or whatnot. So it's something that I enjoy to do. I love love going and exploring new places. I love getting to see new sites, uh, exploring even above land. So if I'm walking out across a big huge lake uh, in the middle of the winter that's froze over, that's really cool to me because maybe I've been on that lake, maybe I've been diving that lake, maybe I've been fishing in that lake, but just the fact that I get to walk across the lake that is pretty cool to me. So that sense of exploration, I really thoroughly enjoy that. And that's what ice diving brings to me. I get to explore new areas. I get to see new things. And you know, when we ice dive, the places that we go, the, the clarity and the visibility is just, you know, it's amazing. Uh, typically speaking, when it's very cold out like that, there's not many boats out on uh, certain bodies of water. So there's not a lot of turbidity. It's a lot better diving conditions. Uh, even our local lake here uh, where we're located, uh, our, we have some of the best visibility in that February, March, April time frame before the boating season really kicks off. So, you know, that's another reason for cold water diving. Maybe if you've dove the same place over and over and over and it's been always warm weather, wait till it gets cold, get the proper equipment for it, and then of course go jump in. And I think you'll be surprised just how clear it actually gets when the water's in, uh, calm down and it's not the storm season or even the uh, boating season going on. So guys, I hope I've enticed you to get out there and go diving. No cold water and ice diving is not going to be for everybody. However, you know, it's not as cold as what you might think with a proper fitting wetsuit or a dry suit with the proper undergarments. You can dive very safely and very comfortable either up under the ice or just in cold water in general. Um, if you got any questions on cold water or ice diving, please put it down in the comment section below. Uh, the clips that you've seen during this video are some of our previous YouTube videos. I'll link them down in the description below for you as well. And you can go through and watch that. Some of them are educational, some of them are just fun videos as well. But uh, definitely check those out. And like I said, if you've got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. But I've got to get out of here. I've got several students that's getting into water today. That's why I was loading up my truck for them. But, uh, and they're open water students, guys. Our lake right now is in the mid to low 40s. So, you know, even open water students can be doing checkout dives when it's cold with the proper equipment and the proper mindset. They can do it and so can you. But guys, if you like this video, simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.